Kentucky, and um, I'm from Ferris Car Club, new member right now, and I got a 66 Chevy Impala. My name is Roswell, Ferris Car Club, uh, San Bernardino, California. I have a 93 Fleetwood Brown. Ferro's Car Club, that 84 Monte Carlo. Over 10 years strong with the Ferro's. Ferro's IE, 63 Super Sport and Pollen. Ferro's, that's how we do it. We roll. My name is Rosal from Ferro's Car Club in the Empire. Uh, we're out here in beautiful San Bernardino, California. It's a nice sunny day today on a Sunday. We're at the Carousel Mall. Um, every Sunday they have a little cruise night here, so come on down. But uh, I'm here on my car club. I got my Cadillac. It's a 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood Brown. It's an electric blue, chrome undercarriage, front to back. Got a custom grill made by Crazy Cutting out in Arizona. Steering wheel from uh, Forever Sharp Steering Wheels. You know, this is what we like to do. Bring our cars out, show them our hard work. You know, we work hard, we all, we all have a job, we all work a nine to five. You know, we all have our family, it's a family thing. We bring our families out with us to enjoy the day. Uh, I've been with my car for 14 years. And you know, money adds up, you, you lose track of money. You know what I mean, to, for me, I try to do something different every year so I don't get tired, don't get bored of the car. So every year is something different, something new. Going to shows and winning trophies is really not important. It's uh, you know, it's part of the lifestyle of the low riding. Yeah, of course you want to go when you go to show. Of course you want to win. You know, there's different categories and stuff like that. Some are all show cars. Some are, you know, street cars. Just just made for the streets. Some are made for the show. Some are made for both. You know, our cars we're made to go either way. We can go to shows. We can go to the streets. We can go. We build our cars. The club. Our club builds our cars to do anything. And we're not afraid to go to show. We're not afraid to hit the streets. You know, we our kids grow up together. That which is. It's a wonderful thing, they get to know each other. And we've grown together as, you know, we're not just club members, we're brothers. Hey, you know, he wants to throw a barbecue, let's, let's go, we'll take the cars out, we'll go barbecue here today. That's what it's mostly about. But yeah, it's a hydraulic setup. It's, uh, they come off, of, back in the day, came out of airplanes and uh, airplane craft parts. You have a switch with solenoids, hit the switch up, it opens, sends power from the solenoids to the motor. The motor spins, shoots oil, hydraulic oil, into the uh, hoses and into the cylinders. Cylinders activate and they shoot up, and lift up and stuff. My name is Augie and um, I'm from Ferris Car Club, new member right now. And I got a 66 Chevy Impala. It's a low rider in a way, but it's on airbags. Um, I got maybe six years going into it. I, I like performance and everything, but more like just a cruiser. Cruiser and um, that's I mean about about it. Eddie Boy from the Ferrells. Been on the car club over 10 years. I had my car for 20 years. My first car that my parents bought me back in uh, '96. Uh, I was still in high school, so it means a lot to me. So I mean, it's not show, but it's street. I roll like Roswell said. I, we roll, that's what we do. So I mean, lay and play, and just get ready to rock and roll, you know what I mean? Just come out here and be prepared for anybody that comes towards you. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, my name is Ralph, I'm an IE, 
ferrules. I have a 63 Super Sport Impala. I've taken it off the frame, started off from the bottom up, uh, redid everything, chrome undercarriage, uh, new paint, new interior. Uh, I've been building it about four years now, and it's a street rider. That's what we do. We come out with our families, have a good time, and show the community that low riding ain't bad. We're a family car club, and we like to show our families that there's more than drugs and gang banging out there. Just put money into a car so you ain't got that extra money to go out there and get high. Uh, other than that, that's what we do. You gotta respect where it started. Yeah, yeah, you gotta respect where it started at, you know. It's, you gotta respect that. Just like you said, you know what I mean? If it wasn't for them cruising back in the day, we probably wouldn't be doing it. Because a lot of our parents did it back in the day, cruising East Street, Mount Vernon. Lotta Creek. Um, Lotta Creek Park. And, you know, without them doing it, we probably wouldn't have done it. Back so, then, it was, it was frowned upon because, you know, why were we gonna mess up a car and do that? And nowadays, it's, it's, it's not frowned upon. You know, we, we drive around, everybody, you know, people give you thumbs up, like, hey, that's a nice car, this and that, you know. Well, on our reality, nobody, nobody in the 60s ever thought that low riding was ever going to become an Impala 60 or whatever year. Nobody ever thought that until it hit the, hit the streets. Yeah. And everybody has their own idea of doing things. And you got people that just put their imagination to something and say, let's see what the car does. Let's see if we put this in there and see, we can, we'll see what the car does after that. So it, it, it accelerated. I mean, it just went bigger. I mean, nobody ever expected that. I yeah. mean, your imagination, everybody has one imagination. It's just this imagination that started the low rider just took off. So it's bigger than what they thought it was. So it's, and we're just gonna continue to make sure that it stays like that. Man, you know, I did everything I did to this car and to see a lot of older people come by and give you a thumbs up or pull you over and say, man, I remember my, my, my mom had a, a, an Impala look nothing like this but now it's like hey it brings back memories it, 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 for a lot of people it does bring back memories and then to drive it and get the thumbs up it's a good feeling my kids love it my kids love it pharaohs i eat shout out to all, all the pharaohs to know that our <laughs> club all our club pharaohs inland empire and shout out to every other car club in san Bernardino, inland empire uh even la san diego shout out to everybody else out there doing their thing yeah you know it's just uh it's a worldwide low rider. Let's just do this. Yeah. Out here in San Bernardino, uh, Suavecitos Car Club of the Indian Empire, they throw a cruise night here at the Carousel Mall. And it's an open invitation to everybody, cars, low riders, hot rods, street bikes, Harleys, you name it, it's all welcome here. And um, usually we have a hop out here too. And it's a, a family, family event. You know, they have little vendors selling food and drinks and, and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a good thing for San Bernardino, you know what I mean?
Yes, my name is Chris Moreno. I'm the president of the Suave Cito's Car Club. Uh, go ahead. This is, I'm his wife, Kathleen. And we've been out here for two years doing the cruise night. Uh, some we started with the radio station inside the uh, building here, KCAA. Uh, turned out a little slow, 10 cars, 15, but now it's grown. And we enjoy being out here doing it, make it a safe atmosphere for uh, parents, kids, and everybody. That's what we do. It's a nice right. family event. Well, when I was a, a young man, about 14, I was, it got me a job and I bought me a car and I put it together and ever since then it kept me working. I wanted to paint my car more and, and buy different rims and put the hydraulics so it, it gave me a life. You know, I got married, had my own four kids. So by doing this, I figured maybe I could touch the other younger uh, kids out here and give them an idea of what I've done. Maybe they want to do the same thing and uh, stay off the street, you know, get jobs, which I have seen a lot of the younger guys do this that uh, my kids grew up with. They come to me all the time and tell me, hey man, you know, because of you, we got jobs and we're working on our cars and, and stuff like that, you know? So this is a big, something we lost a lot of years ago due to drugs and violence, you know, but uh, we brought it back, you know, and we want to keep it here. Uh, it's been amazing, you know, the outpour of people and, um, and their contributions to keeping it going. You know, we have a lot of families coming out. They enjoy the Sunday afternoon. Um, interacting with other you know families in the community it's a positive thing for our city which we need badly um, it brings our community out for an evening and we have fun you know um, enjoy each other and enjoy food <laughs> Marcy, my wife, we're out here uh, low riding on Sunday afternoon, bringing our cars out, coming out, bringing our family, our kids. It's just a family thing, man, coming out here enjoying a nice Sunday, nice cars, nice just family thing. Got a wife that supports us and the, and the thing we do out here, man. I got a 79 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, candy green paint, patterned out. Got it painted out there in uh, Victorville. Got interior done by Evans out here in San Bernardino. And, uh, yeah, man, we're just coming out here low riding. Got 13 inch rims on there. Oh, yeah, out here every Sunday night, you catch them hopping out here, man. You got trunks full of one pumps, two pumps, four pumps, three pumps, all different things. Hitting back bumper. If it ain't hitting back bumper, man, don't bring it out here. Yeah, my, mine's not hopping right now. It's not, I haven't got to that point yet. You know, every car out here is just a work in progress. A little by little, man, we're working on it, getting it going. But pretty soon, it'll be out there in the air. I've been working on my car about a year and a half, maybe about now. Just check to check. Good thing I got a wife that supports me and a family that supports me and backs me in it. If it ain't it, man, we got it ain't get nothing without family out here. My name is Frank Caballero. We're City Cruisers in the Empire. Uh, we're at Sunday Cruise Night for Suavecitos. Uh, there's three chapters here for the City uh, Cruisers. We're here, you know, just kick back, family night, come back, relax, enjoy the family with lifetime memories, Suavecitos. Everybody, you know, just come out here and have fun. Instead of going out, partying, causing trouble, you come here to relax get to meet friends, family, and you know what? It's a good environment, you know, kids show that, you know, you can show the kids that there's more than, than video games. There's more than, uh, you know, running with the gang. 
You know, you come out here, relax, enjoy yourself. My name is Artie Rodriguez. This is my wife here, Arlene. Uh, we've been married almost 30 years now. And uh, the low riding here, I'm in the Suavecitos Car Club. We started this here two years ago at the Carousel Mall here in San Bernardino. Um, it's turned out to be a, a big, big event. Uh, a lot of kids, you know, the Suavecitos, we, we do a lot of uh, functions and majority of for kids, we have a Christmas uh, event. We have an Easter event. Uh, Thanksgiving event. So all through the year we have certain events here and, and like some of the cars for Christmas, you know, they put the Christmas lights on, we give them trophies. This is my truck, by the way. It's a 1949 Chevy pickup. I built it from scratch. Uh, it was just a body and a block inside of it. I went through everything on it. It's got the original engine, 216. My dad had one back in the day when I was younger, a few of them, and that's what gave me the, uh, the idea to keep it going. I'm gonna do it in memory of him. His name is Luis C. Rodriguez. This truck took me five years. I started with the engine. Uh, that's the first thing I got. And then from there, I just started, I went to the swap meet, I bought a DA sander, and I just started taking it down. I took it all down to metal, and then I primered it and drove it around test it out and it's got airbags in it now and then it's uh pretty much complete i already had it out around six years now yeah. the 216 don't even have a water pump the, i mean an oil pump the 216 has little cups that dip into the oil pan and splash the oil around and the 235 came out with the oil pump so it even still has the original crank where you can crank it with a hand crank I feel like a celebrity when I'm driving this truck I get a lot of waves a lot of people come and talk to me their, their thumbs up constantly I actually feel like a celebrity I know how they feel like Well, I own a 1948 Chevy uh, Fastback. They call it a free line. Uh, since I was a kid, I've always liked the style of it. And uh, I owned five other cars before I got the 48 free line. Uh, I met this guy in Rialto, said he had one. I asked him if he wanted to sell it. He told me no, he wasn't interested in selling it. Well, a couple years later, I ran into him again and uh, kind of looked at me and I looked at him and. And I asked him, do I, you know, do I know you or whatever? And he goes, yeah, man, you asked me if you wanted to sell my car. He goes, I think I want to do that now. So he sold me his 1948 Freeline out of Rialto, and uh, 
I bought it. it took me a, about seven years to put it together. And, uh, you know, some people ask me if I'd sell it, but no, I'd, I'd keep it, you know, until I'm gone or maybe my kids can enjoy it or something. But uh, I let my boy pick the colors. He shot the paint on it. Uh, he told me I'm going to paint it, but I want to shoot the colors I want. I said, no problem, man, just shoot it, <laughs> paint it. So this is what we ended up with.